What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of this series. Basically this series is all about a day in the life of a charter captain. On this episode what we're going to be doing is maintenance. Maintenance on my brand new engine and uh oh my goodness what is going on here? Whew. I guess I don't look in the mirror too much. <laughs> this is not going to work. Whew. Woo! Talk about some much needed maintenance. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> you know, it's just rejuvenating to get a fresh new haircut and just, I don't know, it just makes you feel alive, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, let's get into this maintenance video. This maintenance video is basically what you have to do at the 20 hour mark, which is. Oh, your water separator. Alan, key to get off the side paneling. That's a five. Number five? Five millimeter. Five millimeter. Right. Back here, down here. Like no, thank you. I appreciate it though. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Back yeah. Here. Back here. And there's a screw up top here. Oop. Right there. Oh, shoot. Forgot to. This one's a little bit different midsection than mine. The 25 inch. Turn it all the way this way. Okay. That'll help that oil drain out. All right, first things first, guys, it's the oil change. This is where your your drain is right here. There's two ways to do it. Drain it out right you there. You can drain or you can siphon. Oh, yeah, suck it out of the top. I don't like that. Dude, I, I was the, the mechanic that used to, I used to use for my for my my, uh, my carburetor Yamaha. He's like, Just drain it. Now, what size is that? Because that's probably going to be on know, every 14 Yamaha. millimeter. Yeah. Boom. Took me a long time. Look at this. This is a specialty. You know how long it took me to figure this out, man? There it is. That's a pro tip for you right there. You don't want oil when it everywhere. Start, when it gets to the very end, it gets like kind of stringy and the wind blows it all over the place. So if you guys are wondering why I keep on coming over Nate's house for maintenance, I've messed up enough stuff. <laughs> it's because he has the same Dude, exact the engine. Hey, you know, that was a question in the last video. Look at the color of that oil. It's pretty. Nice and golden. Somebody was asking, why why do you say Nate has the same engine when his is in the show, but you changed out your oh, cowling, yeah. so they didn't think it was a show. Carl calls it the off show. Yeah, the off show. He, it, it's Super secret. Exactly, it's a They're stealth. The, <clears throat> the, the, the engine's all the same from the 200, the 225, and the 250 VMAX show, the 250 and the 300 offshore, it's all the same block. It's all the, 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 the 4.2 liter yeah. V6. It's all the same thing. It's, it's all literally the same exact motor. So basically, purpose, Nate, purpose of doing the 20 hour maintenance is to basically find any make particles. Sure they, make sure they put it together right. Make sure everything's right, yeah. So you don't want to run 100 hours. But, uh -huh. but this is basically a 100 hour service, right? Yeah, the, the first service which is at 20 hours ish yep mm -hmm. look at that still still a lot of clarity to the to the oil that's what you want to see if you're not like milky or um real dark problem the first maintenance on the on the 2019 yeah. yamaha f250 show draining the oil is the first step guys the oil filter is generally not that tight on guys but it is I'm sure least. it's probably within torque specs, but yeah. Good God! Like a spark plug. I'll just kind of. But the thing about it is, it's convenient right here. It's like right there on yep. the engine. You don't have you don't, to move anything. You don't need small Japanese hands to get to it. Exactly. You spend <coughs> spending this much on a motor, you want to just do everything that Yamaha says, basically. That's it. Just a little. A little snug. Yeah. Next, new filter. A little, a little oil on I know the seal. With, with the paper gaskets, you have to. Nice. Oh, that's cool. They put that new little scoop in there. Yeah. So that thing's great. That is great. I've never even seen that before. It just catches the oil. It'll all drain out in your yeah. in your. But pan, who cares? But you you want it in the pan anyway. Cares. 
a little lubrication. But yeah, the this the 4.2 liter block is so much nicer than the 3.3. And you could just hand tighten that thing on. I could, I could, I could, I could use, I could reach everything with my giant catcher's mitt hands. Yeah, I just give it a little. A little extra quarter turn that's and that's it. Liquid gold. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. I think the um, what people you talk to will say, oh, you don't need to use marine oil. It's just a waste of money. But um, then some mechanics will tell you that the um, there's more detergents in it. Now we're gonna do the lower unit, gear lube. Right underneath this thing, which is which is taken off by a little, what? Three millimeter. Three millimeter uh, Allen key on the other side, just like that. But it looks like this on the other side. Just take that off and then there's your lower unit oil drain. <coughs> Don't worry, it's got HD lube in it. Now you do another little prayer. Very important you say a prayer. That it's not milky? Two prayers. One, it's not milky and there's not a ton of metal on it. Did you hear Did you hear that little pssst? That means your lower unit's got pressure. That's a beautiful noise. Uh-oh. That's acceptable. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. See how it's real fine like hair? Yeah. That's great. If you if you pull it off and can feel chunks, uh, okay. bad. But if you pull if you pull See, some if, of it off of I it. I would have been doing this at my house. Oh house, yeah, I there's just freaked out. Ouch. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's great. That's fantastic. Drain it out. A little metallic look to it, nice and clear. Yeah, it is. Wow. Look Beautiful. It stinks. It Woo. does smell. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that HD lube stanky. Do you have those paper gaskets? Yep. Cool. This is still draining. Yeah. It's been about 10 minutes. Oh, because this is what I have. It takes like a bottle and a half, I think. <coughs> and you just see it slowly draining out it'll, of here. Yeah, it'll it'll come out. I mean it's not gonna shoot you in the face, but it'll it comes out. We got a long way to go. Oh, that's it. it. We're there. All filled up. Like, let's kind of hand tight that. Give it a little bit of an, like, like a half an ugga dugga. You guys hear that? Just a half ugga dugga. Definitely. You don't want to go full ugga dugga. That's it. All right. Hold a hose nose. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. We had to wrap things up really quick because the rain came in the afternoon. But hey, we're all done. It was a quick little oil change. Lower unit oil is done. Everything looked clear. We are good to go. So I'll see you guys back here in just a few days.